if you are trying to get your home service business to $10,000 a month, why are you fulfilling the services yourself? I realized very quickly that it doesn't make any sense to fulfill the service yourself, but 95% of the people that I talk to that are trying to grow their service business are getting all the jobs and doing all the work themselves. So I think it makes a lot of sense if you just look at the numbers and if you are trying to grow your business, you should fall in love with the numbers so that you know if what you're doing makes sense or not. So if I, let's see, my average job size is about $250 because we just clean exterior windows. So if I, um, and I personally, I generate the business same day through door knocking. So if I'm out door knocking, it will take me three hours to get three jobs. So that's three hours um, to generate $750 in revenue. If I clean those myself, I can do maybe three houses a day um, on top of selling, and then I make $750, right? Very simple. But that puts me at three hours of selling, and then let's say roughly six hours to clean the three jobs. So um, in that first three hours, I made the $750 in revenue, and then I saved about $100 to $150 by cleaning all of it myself. So think about that for a second. If I paid someone $150, $100 to $150, they would have cleaned all three houses and probably more and so $750 in revenue minus 150, that's $600. So in three hours, if I have someone else do the six hours of work, I make $600 in three hours. Or I can work nine hours and make an extra $150. When you look at the math, it makes no sense to be fulfilling the service yourself, but almost everybody I talk to are doing all the jobs themselves. And what you're essentially doing is you're saying, I want to make that um, extra $150. So I'm going to do double the work and harder work just to make that extra $150. Okay. What if I spent those next six hours selling, then that $600 that I made, I would be able to generate so much more revenue that it would, it just makes so much sense. So if you're in 2024, if you're trying to grow your home service business, you should not be fulfilling the jobs yourself. You should find someone who is good at fulfilling the service and wants to work and you should pay them a small fraction of the revenue so that you can focus on what the most valuable, most high leverage opportunity that you have while you're scaling to 10, 20,000 a month, which is generating more work, getting more jobs. Another reason that you might be doing this is if you don't know how to get jobs at will. So if you're not good at selling jobs and you just get maybe a few a week come in randomly, then that makes sense. I understand why you would be cleaning it yourself. But as soon as you figure out how to generate the jobs at will, then you should not be doing the work yourself. You should find someone. And if you want help finding someone, um, figuring out how to get workers to clean for you, or if you don't really know how to get the jobs at will, um, you can reach out to me. If you want help, we can help you scale to $10,000, $20,000 a month by doing this, by putting a good worker in place uh, or a good two workers in place and learning how to sell jobs so that you effectively can spend all your time getting more business and not waste all of your time um, fulfilling the service yourself. You have to know exactly what you're looking for and who you're looking for so that you don't waste a lot of money and time with a worker that is not good and... It also helps to know exactly how to pay them so that you get a skilled worker 
but also make as much profit as possible. Um, and also, you can just DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you. If you want to make a lot more money and be more valuable and do higher leverage work, don't fulfill the service yourself. In 2024, you need to outsource the service to someone who probably will do a better job than you anyways.